Did you know how to pray for healing without praying? You might be wondering what I mean by that. Well, let me explain. In Act 3 of the Book of Acts, we read about a miraculous healing that took place at the temple gate. Peter and John were going to pray when they saw a lame beggar who asked them for money. Instead of giving him money, Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Acts 3, 6, and guess what? The beggar got up and walked. He was healed instantly and started praising God. He followed Peter and John into the temple, where a crowd gathered around them. Peter then preached a powerful message about Jesus and how he was the Messiah who died and rose again for their sins. Now, you might think that Peter prayed for the beggar's healing, but he didn't. He simply spoke with authority and faith in the name of Jesus. He didn't ask God to heal the beggar, he declared that he was healed. He didn't beg God to do something, he believed that God had already done it. Here are some points on the prayer for healing that get results. We need to have faith in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is powerful and can heal any sickness or disease. We need to trust that Jesus has already paid the price for our healing on the cross and that by his wounds we are healed Isaiah 53. 5. We need to speak with authority and confidence. We don't need to plead with God or doubt his will. We need to speak as if we have already received what we are asking for Mark 11. 24. We need to command sickness to leave and health to come in the name of Jesus. We need to act on our faith. We don't need to wait for a sign or a feeling before we act. We need to act as if we are healed and thank God for it. We need to do what we couldn't do before and testify of God's goodness. Remember, God wants you to be healed and Jesus paid the price for that.